CRTV, CRTV News, and CRTV Sports and Entertainment. 7 p.m. The draw, solemn yet emotion packed moment. Draw the curtains with a star studded debrief on CRTV Sports and Entertainment. CRTV at the heart of the AFCON 2021. Holy Feast of Assumption, celebrating the day Mary, Mother of Jesus, went up into heaven. And Cameroonians prepare for back to school as didactic material are now available on shelves in the markets. We bring you details on these and more only on the 7 a.m. news on CRTV. Despite our efforts, COVID-19 plunged many families into mourning and seriously hampered the functioning of our economy and society. Good morning and thanks for joining us. You're watching the 7 a.m. newscast with me, Gladys Asu Guana. Well, Catholic Christians today celebrate the Holy Feast of Exemption. And earlier before today, Christians involved in both spiritual and physical preparation multiplied prayer sessions and carried up cleanup campaigns in order for the church premises to be ready for such a feast. Well, Clarence Gay has the report on how Christians prepare for today. A busy day for Christians of St. Peter and Paul Parish Fundasi. The faithful, under the coordination of the parish priest, retouched every part of the church ahead of Sunday celebration. Despite ensuring thorough clean up, the parish priest affirmed that the spiritual aspect of the feast is of prime importance. The feast of Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary defend the dog the dogma of the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary at the end of her early life. Other added to the parish just like Angoso, every Christian was occupied with the task in order to meet up with the standards of the feast. Besides all these, COVID-19 barrier measures are in check. The Feast of Assumption marks the occasion of the Virgin Mary's bodily ascent to heaven at the end of her life. And over 300 youths of uh, Gliss Presbyterian du Cameroon Banga Metet Synod have been called upon to copy the example of Jesus Christ in their way of living. They were enjoined at the end of a four day general youth conference of the Synod in Banga. Bodin in Sama has the story. End of the 2021 General Conference for the Jape Method Synods, where for five days there were intense activities such as prayers, meditation and evangelization. La fête a été belle. On a... The celebration was great. We succeeded with the event and we thank God. I think in the future we will be able to do better. During the closing ceremony, participants were called upon to open their bodies for Christ just like a living sacrifice. It's a call for youth to return to God's will. 
que chacun ouvre son corps body, au service de Dieu dans les trois entités. First, the physical body D'abord le and corps later, physique, the others. les pensées, ainsi que tous ses biens. Youths were mobilized and called upon to be conscious. Je me suis dit qu'il fallait faire revenir les gens. I said to myself, Tall as they distinguished themselves as the parish with the most impressive membership in the synod. Meantime, the sale of books and bags and other school items is gaining fame in Yaoundé as the new academic year draws closer. Buyers and sellers are expressing satisfaction with quality uh, available with the quality available this far as a uh, Prices have considerably dropped in bookshops and other sale points. Romeo Kenny visited our market and filed in this report. The new school year is fast approaching, and the Yaoundé Central Market is jammed to capacity with didactic material. Along its street, prices of school bags are between 5,000 and 20,000 francs CFA. In this bookshop, supply is in quantity and quality. As where promotional sales attract customers. We've just come to buy some books, all the things, bags and so on. But now, uh, in my short list, I have uh, around uh, 85%. This is already. So uh, for the next week, I will pass again to try if uh, it's available. Yeah, I try to buy one thing one day. And tomorrow we hope that uh, it will be better. The same price like the Ministry of, uh, of Sales. Aside the primary and secondary, kindergarten school needs are also on the scale of preference. At the level of readers, we have some like, you have like some 80% of supply. Prices have been changed also. For box, we are not like, for us here, our prices are very affordable because we sell in box. We sell in large quantities. What makes us like to be, we are not like those who buy and sell. It's those who buy and sell who make, who make those prices to be more uh, like high and make parents to like complain. In all, no artificial scarcity has been announced yet. The demand and supply process is ongoing unperturbed. Now, some students and pupils are usually involved in petty trade in order to assist their parents prepare for the new academic year. The kids are, however, often exposed to some risk, risk linked to the nature of their job. Gilbert Ongene took interest in some of these risk factors and filed in the following report. They all bring back money at the end of each day, these children carrying out petty trade in the streets of Yaoundé. But at what cost? Divine, Damas, and Dilan say they are often victims of bullying, assault, theft, and at times road accidents and sexual abuse. We are exposed to accidents and other risks, so we must take some precautions. For example, when I want to cross the road, I must look left and right before. This explains why each time they leave home, they are always cautioned by their parents and guardians to avoid places and persons who could expose them to such risk. My parents always tell me to avoid dangerous neighborhoods. Because during holidays, there are bad people who assault and sometimes kidnap children. All said and done, these children and their parents are aware of the dangers they are exposed to while struggling to raise money from petty trade to support back-to-school preparations. But most often, since they have no other options, they are obliged to face this risk head-on in order to be sure of having all their school needs and be in class with their peers once classes resume in September. Meantime, officials of the Ministry of Trade have embarked on a campaign to fight against unscrupulous business practices, which have led to the unauthorized increase to the unauthorized increase in the prices of some essential goods. The exercise follows discussions with distributors to raise awareness on the need to check activities which are putting pressure on the purchasing power of inhabitants. Clarice Aretaka. 
Their presence was unexpected, giving wholesalers and retailers little time to wriggle their way out of any unscrupulous practices. Officials of the Ministry of Trade are at work to fish out vendors whose activities have put pressure on consumers' pockets. Amongst the main items targeted are foodstuff and construction materials sold in different markets, a variety of which are said to have witnessed price hikes, raising fears of hoarding. This time, it will go till the end because we are every day on the field, but the traders don't want to respect the law. And now we will be obliged to size and to to close their shop in order to bring everyone to respect the law. Bags of rice stored in unusual places with no credible explanations put forward. The team from the control brigade passed across the message of the government not being party to any actions which undermine efforts to keep the cost of living affordable for most. The exercise will be intensified as the countdown to the start of the new school year narrows. Well, that report draws the curtains to the 7 a.m. newscast on CRTV News. Thanks for staying with us. But stay tuned as Cameroon Daylight continues with Roger Ely. Meantime, happy Big Day Maria to all Christians out there. I urge you once again to put on your face masks to wash your hands regularly and to consult a physician or any other health personnel if you notice any symptoms. Total Énergie, Cameroun 2021. La partie commence ce mardi 17 août et la CRTV vous fait vivre l'émotion au bout du suspense. Dès 17h, balle au centre, 52 minutes de show sur CRTV Sport and Entertainment. 18h, passe décisive 